Hello and welcome to the Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. This time around we're going to talk about how to configure topology groups. So uh, the purpose of a topology group is if we have many uh, VLANs, say 100, 200, 1000 VLANs, we don't necessarily want to run a layer 2 uh, protection mechanism on all of those VLANs. For, so for example, we don't necessarily want to run a thousand spanning tree instances or a thousand rapid spanning tree instances or, or metro ring instances, etc. Um, so what we want to do is we want to build a group and we want to run uh, the, the um, layer two loop avoidance mechanism only on a master VLAN and then everyone else is going to follow. Now, obviously, this is only going to work if the vast majority of your VLANs uh, use the same ports, right, for, for uplinks uh, or, or tag ports. So um, so let's, let's build a, a, a group of VLANs, and then we'll see what happens. So I'm going to go into config T here. I'm going to do VLAN 100 to 150, for example. And then uh, we will tag um, Ethernet 1 slash 2 slash 1 and Ethernet 1 slash 2 slash 3. Okay, so I have just built 50 VLANs. They all have the same ports tagged, uh, right? And so um, I'm running router code. So in router code, spanning tree is disabled by default. It is enabled by default on switch code. Uh, but router code is disabled, so I don't have any layer 2 loop avoidance mechanism here by default on these 50 VLANs I've just created. So I want to turn on, uh, in this case, I'm going to run rapid spanning tree. Um, so normally, I would have to go to each VLAN and configure rapid spanning tree. But because I'm going to put these in a topology group, I'm actually just going to um, turn it on on a single VLAN and then create that one as the master. So um, we're going to go to uh, VLAN 100 here just as an example, and we'll do a, a span, oops, span uh, 802-1W to turn on rapid spanning tree, and then uh, we'll make ourselves the root bridge, so we're going to do a priority zero on that as well. Um, <clears throat> so that's good, um, and then, uh, and so I have spanning tree turned on on this single VLAN and nothing else, um, so what I'm going to do now is create a topology group. So the command is topology-group. Uh, you give it a number. So it could be um, anything from 1 to 255, I believe. But we'll start with 1. And then we're going to assign a member, uh, sorry, a master VLAN first. So our master VLAN is, is the VLAN that we just cr uh, added rapid spanning tree to. So 100 in this case. Okay. And then we assign our member VLANs. So it's member dash VLAN is one way to do it. And then we will assign our VLANs 101 to, uh, you can do them one at a time, obviously, but we're going to do 2150. So easy as that. So <clears throat> if I do a show topology group now, You'll see our topology group one, our master VLAN is 100, our member VLAN is 101 to 150, right? So there's 50 VLANs in the group. Uh, our common control ports, uh, L2 protocol, so, so our common control ports are 121 and 123 that are running rapid spanning tree. Uh, and we don't have any per VLAN free ports. So what this means is it's ports in other VLANs that are not uh, in that master VLAN, right? So um, if I had other ports tagged in, the, in those other uh, 49 VLANs that were not in that master VLAN, then they wouldn't necessarily be running that control protocol, so they're considered free VLANs. The other thing we can do is we can create VLAN groups. So um, we, we do that with a VLAN group command, so VLAN group and give it a number. Um, Oh, excuse me, that's all one command. So VLAN, and we're going to go 151 to 1, I don't know, 61. We'll put 10 VLANs in this group. Right? Uh, tag E1 slash 2 slash 1, E1 slash 2 slash 3, and just out of interest, we're going to do E1 slash 1 slash 1. 
Okay, so we've actually added more VLANs to that group than were in the master VLAN. So we're going to go back into our topology group and add that VLAN group. Um, and actually, before I do that, let me show you that in a show run. So there's all my VLANs that we created before. So those are created as individual VLANs, even though I created them with one command. But here's a VLAN group. So a VLAN group is basically the same thing. It's just a group of VLANs with exactly the same settings on them. Um, so if I go into my topology group, so topology-group1, right? And then, so under VLAN here, oh, sorry, under member, I should say, I have two choices. I can add member VLAN, which is what I did before to add a group of VLANs all at once, or I could do member dash group and add the VLAN group I just created. So all I got to do is add the VLAN number, the group number that I just created, and then it adds it as a member. So if I do a show topology group again, <clears throat> you'll now see that uh, I have VLAN 100 is my master, 101 to 150 is members. I have a member group one, so I now have 61 VLANs, uh, layer two protocol with 802-1W, and you'll see that I have all these all these free ports, right? So Ethernet 1 slash 1 slash 1 for VLANs 151 to 161 are all considered free ports, and that's because those are interfaces in my other VLANs, actually in my VLAN group in this case, that are not part of the master VLAN. So they're not going to be protected by that layer two loop avoidance mechanism. So that's what that means. <clears throat> anyway, so um, topology groups are a good way to configure multiple VLANs um, easily without having to go through and run spanning tree algorithms or rapid spanning tree or MRP or VSRP. Uh, on all those VLANs. It's hard on the, on the switch CPU if you're trying to run, you know, 200 or, 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 or if you're trying to run a thousand spanning tree instances, that would be very difficult for the switch to run that reconvergence. Uh, whereas in this case, we're only running a single spanning tree or rapid spanning tree instance for all of those VLANs, for 61 VLANs. Um, you can obviously have multiple topology groups and have them counter rotating, right? Have different, um, different spanning tree root bridges on different uh, topology group devices. Um, so there's lots of things you can do. Um, but uh, but yeah, lots of flexibility, but it, it certainly will ease your life if you want to deploy that. Anyway, thanks for joining. Appreciate it.